every time Montoya has damage, you usually see whoever did it, they end up getting wrecked. So you usually know that's coming. But <laughs> you got you got to realize, in, in, in Montoya, I, I like him. I think he's a hell of a driver. But you can't wreck everyone every time you get in an accident. Accidents happen. You know, guys make some mistakes. You know, why hold grudges and, and, and wreck guys? I, I just don't understand that. Makes it tough to get in the chase that way, too. Get it up on the bottom. That corner. Closer. In that corner. Get it up. Clear. Here they come for the finish. Adam Skinner stays in front. Teammate from the Mexico Cup side, Robbie Gordon. <laughs> Interesting bump draft. Ah, uh, there he is right here. If he causes the big one, I swear I will whip his after the race. <laughs> <laughs> Years ago, I turned Sorensen around coming into the trial. And it caused a big wreck. Why'd you do that? Pushing him. I'm same same hill, yeah. Talladega. <laughs> yeah. We blame it on Talladega. It's, Talladega is short for we're going to crash, we just don't know when. Time Daytona 500 winner and Stu uh, Stewart, the three time but shootout winner. Uh, you know, because he showed me absolutely no respect. You know, he got me loose and then he just ran me over instead of trying to turn right for the corner. So I, I was just a little disappointed because in the past I've shown him the respect that I think I deserved and, you know, he didn't give it to me. But, you know, I'm past that now. You know, you say a lot of things in the heat of the battle. Um, so, you know, he's not on my Christmas card list anymore. Not that he ever was, but he's a great race car driver. But he's going to need to learn a lesson because those cup boys aren't going to take any of that next year. Feeling about your championship chances these days? Yeah, I was, uh, you know, feeling pretty good about it. That's, uh, that's why these <laughs> streamers wondering why he's back in the Nationwide Series. Is uh, you know, points leader like that racing, just trying to hold him in position, and he's doing stuff like that. It's, uh, that's why. David, tell me what happened with Clint Boyer there. First of all, hats off to uh, Brand that Navy team. Um, I, I, they deserve it. They did the right call there. We were having to conserve fuel so long, and it was easy on our tires. And I don't know what happened. Ninety-nine. I think he ran out, but. The two was backing up too, and I had a run on him off of a two coming to the checker, and he blocks me down back to So then he goes in, and he didn't arc out, and he ends up stopping in the center corner, and I got into him. I mean, what, what do you want me to do? I got the 99 or whoever it was breathing down my neck. So, I mean, he's all right to do it to uh, other people, but I guess he don't like it. I mean, he, what do you expect when you're blocking a guy? But anyways. Wallace has been moved from fifth to the last car on the lead lap, 21st. I went underneath Sterling, right? I was underneath him. He turned left. What the hell was I going to do? He run me in the yellow line. So I finished fifth today. I know that. So hell, whatever the hell they want to do. Everybody knows I finished fifth, right? But Bush gets such a good launch off the top groove at the end of the corner. He is denying Mark Martin a chance to lead this race for the first time. Tell you what, on that restart, he took off like John Forso, didn't he? <laughs> yes. He's been paying attention to them drag racing boys. And Dave at Atlanta, Tony Stewart finished ninth here in New Hampshire. A second straight fifth place finish, but more importantly, you finish second in the points. That's a lot of money. An extra 358000 Buy some midget tires. Uh, I'm not buying any midget tires. <laughs> That's going into the retirement fund so I can get out of the series eventually. But, uh, you know, the guys at Home Depot did a great job uh, all year, and all the associates backed us all year long. Everywhere we went to do autograph sessions, the sore associates are the ones that are pumped up the most. And, uh, you know, their support means more to us than anything. But, uh, you know, Greg Cipadelli and all the guys on the team today, they did a great job. And... Uh, uh, Sterling Marlin tried to crash us three or four times in the first 20 laps and couldn't get it done. So, uh, you know, I guess that was he thought that was his only shot at, at beating us today. But, uh, you know, we, we were able to, to hang on there. And uh, all I know is there's one thing that I wanted to do. All, all I can, all do, I can no, say no, is this, no, is that no, what are you talking about retirement from do, here? No, no, no. At least you can do is let me have my moment of sun here, uh, Yoakum. So we first thing about... I want to do is mess this hair up <laughs> a lot because you've got uh. too pretty a hair. <laughs> Second of all. I want to know when you and Ingrid are getting married because she she's expecting a diamond ring. So we know that you need to be getting invaded this week. Why are you getting so red? You can afford it because <laughs> you've got money for the retirement fund. What about you and Krista? How red your face is. What about you and Krista? <laughs> she's doing great. She's waiting on me to leave. Well, but what about a ring for Krista? She me up and I want to leave. Well, she, I've got her ring. Don't worry. I'll, I'll take it. Well, when are you going to give it? I've given it to her once and I screwed up and took it back. <laughs> but, uh, what about this time? That. Most likely I'm going to beat you to it. It looks looking awful good. How about that? I tell you what, why don't we just go to Vegas? I'm going to Vegas tonight. Why don't you and I both go? We'll go pick up Ingrid, and we'll both get married tonight. <laughs> well, he certainly has a no, lot of extra. Scared, man. <laughs> uh, let's go back.